In this video, I review the Case Smartphone Master Macro Lens for toy photography. Today, I'm going to do a little shooting with my phone and test out this macro lens from Case. This is a Smartphone Master Macro with the strong clip included. Case set this lens in CPO filter for review, but I'm free to say what I will. I'm particularly interested to see how this lens delivers a shallower depth of field and renders bokeh on a phone. It's something a lot of phone photographers have been looking for. This is a 40 to 75 millimeter macro lens, and that's what made me curious about it. Every other phone macro lens I had seen before were wider angle and had working distances so short that the lens was touching the subject. To get this on your phone, you use this clip that's included. Just take the lens and twist it in until it's secure. My phone has three lenses, an ultra wide, wide, and a fake telephoto. I'm gonna use the middle one here, which is the regular wide lens. If you have a real telephoto lens, use that. Clip the macro lens so that it's perfectly centered over the phone lens. The clip should sit flush to the phone lens. If it isn't flush and centered, focus and image quality will be terrible. So if you have a phone case like mine that has a raised lip around the phone lens array, you have to remove it. This clip is pretty strong, but it can slip because the lens is pretty hefty and the phone is really smooth. Also, it makes the phone top heavy, so you'll need a firm grip. Without my rubber case though, that makes holding the phone a lot more difficult. Let me show you that working distance I mentioned earlier. I'm going to focus on this Archer minifig here. On my camera app, I'm dialed into the closest focusing distance. Then I'm just going to slowly push the phone closer until I get the minifig in focus. That's how much space you have to work with at close focus, about 4.5 centimeters. Now I'm gonna dial into the furthest focusing distance and pull the phone back until I achieve focus. We're getting a decent amount of space to work with lighting and atmospheric effects. That's about 9.5 centimeters working distance. Let's look at the bokeh now. I tend to shoot my Lego subjects full body, so I'm gonna frame it up that way and dial in the longer focus distance. Watch the fairy lights in the background. So here's that shot. And let's look at what the photo would look like without the macro lens on. I've overlaid the macro lens shot on the regular shot with the minifigs the same size so you can understand the differences better. Let's do a close focus shot to see what the bokeh will look like. I like to frame my subjects this tightly when I shoot a storytelling series, but of course I'd compose it with the head in the shot. Apart from dialing in the close focus, I have to physically move the scene and character to get it in focus. And here's that shot, big and oblong shaped bokeh. Zooming in, you can see how sharp this lens is. I'm really excited that this macro lens can take a circular polarizing filter. I always shoot with one on my dedicated cameras to minimize glare, so it's great that this can be done on a phone. You need this 41 mm to 52 mm adapter this just slips over the macro lens snugly, but you do have to be careful not to move the whole lens when you attach it. There are front threads on the adapter so the CPL filter can screw on. Again, be careful about keeping that macro lens centered and flush. Remember, focus and image quality suffer a lot if the macro lens is not dead center on your phone lens. Now that that's on, here's what the CPL can do. Watch this glare just disappear as I rotate the CPL filter. Here's a photo with the glare on the face, and here's when I've rotated the CPL to minimize the glare. 52 mm sounds really large, and it is, but I discovered that it holds up the phone vertically. No hands. The Case Master Macro Lens is a great lens to have in your toolkit if you are serious about getting actual shallow depth of field and nice enough bokeh using your phone. Of course, this does come at a cost. You won't be able to focus on anything further than about 9.5 centimeters away. You have to make sure the clip doesn't slip. You have to hold the phone differently because of the weight at one end. And you probably can't use a phone case, which helps with grip. The Case Master Macro Lens is about 70 US dollars on Case's official store. 
you can buy the bundle with the CPL and adapter for about $100. There are other ways to improve your toy photography with a phone, too. Check my blog post on 4 Bricks Tall for tips on that. Thanks for watching. This is 4 Bricks Tall. Catch you next time.